so Linda, it's been really interesting to talk to you today. How did you find the debate on the conference? I thought the debate was really interesting. Um, but the panel that, um, that I took part in, you've got four incredibly different perspectives um, and actually schemes that were discussed. Um, they all have really similar challenges actually and fundamentally I think there were sort of two things came through. One was about connectivity, um, both what's there today and actually what may come in the future. But the second one was more about community, about how you actually create great places for people to live and to work and actually how we make sure that we're actually designing the right environments that are really sort of sustainable going forward. We've talked at the forum before about airports as destinations and I know that airports are still working with that concept but you've got an enormous challenge on your hands because you're actually creating a whole city. Yeah, a whole new part of Manchester. Um, I'm not convinced you could, that you can do what we're doing at Manchester at every airport in the world or with every city. We're actually sort of, uh, we're really lucky for a number of reasons. Firstly, we've got fantastic connectivity already into our site. So we've got heavy rail, we've got Metrolink, we've, we can get there by car and coach and obviously by air. Uh, but actually we're very close to the city centre as well. So we're only about 14 minutes away from the city centre by train, 20, 25 minutes by car. So actually that proximity to the city centre as well as being a highly connected transport node is actually really important to being able to bring the type of development forward that we're doing. And what's going to be the special feeling at the city airport? How would you describe the atmosphere? What's it going to be like to live there? I would hope it would be young, um, international and really quite vibrant. So we're sitting next to uh, an airport that's carrying 28 million passengers a year. You know, we anticipate that to continue to grow quite rapidly as we invest alongside Airport City. There's a billion being invested in the airport and its infrastructure. So you've always got this quite diverse mix of passengers coming through the airport. We're a campus that employs 22 and a half thousand people today. That's probably going to double over the next decade. So sort of a hugely diverse population working on campus. And then you've got our existing occupiers and tenants, a lot of whom are international businesses. Um, as are the ones that are coming into the airport, the ones who want to come and be part of the development that we create, a young, vibrant tech international companies. And there's always a lot in the press about expanding airports. Do we want to do that, don't we? If we don't, we're closing ourselves off from the world. It's such a difficult debate, isn't it, Linda? How would you see your way through that? I mean, would you say that Manchester and Stansford, they've got to expand to, to keep pace with the rest of the world? I think there, there is that. I, I think you've just got to almost stand back as well and think how important airports are to the national and to the regional and actually sort of on a more sort of smaller scale to the local economies. So if you look at Manchester, it contributes something like 1.5 billion of GVA to Manchester, the northwest, and the economies of the north. Uh, we've seen that by opening routes up to places like China, so the direct flight to Beijing has actually sort of increased exports and trade with China by something like 265 percent. So we're doing about 200 million a month of freight and cargo being carried backwards and forwards on the on those routes. So, and we've also driven the tourist numbers and student numbers up enormously. Again, driving massive benefits into the local economy. The other way of looking at it is the um, flights to the east coast and the west coast of the US have actually linked us with tech centres of the world. And actually Manchester has a very diverse and thriving you know, sort of tech industry, not just in the city centre actually, it's out at the airport, it's out in other locations around the conurbation. So in a lot of ways, I think 21st century trade, you've got the physical connectivity, you get on a plane and you go somewhere, but the digital connectivity is absolutely critical as well.